But you want to shut us up. You want to shut us down. You don't want us to help each other when you don't realize that me talking to these guys is actually preparing them for you. If you're supposed to be the wife of a great man, don't you want me to prepare him and gird him up? Or do you want him to be a simp and a sucker to then go over so you can boss him around and you not be interested in him because you want to cheat on him anyway? Because you don't even know what the purpose of marriage is. Do you know what the purpose of marriage is? Because you keep comparing marriages to relationships and you think that just because you got married that you won. You didn't. You don't even know the reason why you get married. And that's why you disrespect the institution of marriage when you go about getting married to a great man that's not supposed to be with you in the first place because you were selfish about your own selfish reasons and you decided that you wanted to ruin his life. Yes, you did. Every single minute that you don't hold yourself accountable and you don't become the woman that you're supposed to be, you ruin in somebody else's life because that man could have been with somebody in which they built up and been better for the community and the culture, but instead he got to deal with your monkey ass because you don't want to get yourself together and the only thing you care about is what you think you deserve, but you don't really make yourself what it is that you're supposed to be for the man that's supposed to be with you. It's a man that's waiting for you but you can't get yourself together long enough or hold yourself accountable long enough because you too fucking in your in your own feelings and focused on me instead of focused on you you looking out the window instead of looking in the mirror every time i talk to you you looking at what's wrong with me instead of looking at what's wrong with you i got mad i'm winning i've been married for 20 years successfully it's a difference i know what being successfully married looks like i understand the purpose of marriage i was very intentional from the time that i opened up my eyes all the way up until being 41 years old right now. I understand the purpose. My wife is taken care of. My kids is taken care of. My employees is all straight. College fund funded. If anything was to happen to me today, she's taken care of for the rest of her life. Nobody has any worries that's around me. So why are you sitting here worried about the messenger when you should be looking at the message and applying it to your motherfucking life? I'm so tired of these ugly, funky Ugly spirited, demonic women that are sitting here trying to have a conversation with me. You can't talk to me. You don't even deserve to talk to me. What's wrong with you? We're not the same. What you mean you want a personal session? Fuck you. Makes you think that you can even stand in my presence. I'm a God. In real life. A real life angel walking right before you when you won't even appreciate it until I'm gone. And that's a fact. Give a fuck about you trying to humble me. Anton, be humble. We don't like it when you talk like that. Well, listen, go and listen to a mother, another motherfucker that's going to tell you what you want to hear and not give you the motherfucking results because you tried it your way. You keep on reading these goddamn romance novels and they're not giving you what you need in order to be successful. You're not prepared for marriage. You're not prepared for the man that you say that you want. You say that you deserve him, but what about your selfish motherfucking ambitions and then you're going to ruin that nigga? He only got one life. Stop getting on the pulpit. Stop praying to God about a good man. Become a good woman. He didn't tell you to pray for a man. He never told you that. Show me where it is in the word of God where he say pray for the man that you want. I'm curious because I know your pastor going to tell you that. I know your evangelist is going to tell you that. Your prophetess is going to prophesy it over your life. You're going to die motherfucking long. And I'm telling you right here, right now to your face. I don't care what they told you. I don't care who your pastor is. I don't care how many tithes and offerings you pay. I don't care how much you contribute contributed into the building fund. You would not believe the amount of people that are a part of the church, that are a part of leadership in the church, that come to me at the end of their time or when they're about to retire and they say they have nothing. They don't have no friends. They don't have no family. They don't have nobody that love them. They don't have no money. They don't have nothing. And time, can you fix my life? I said, I'm not Ayala. I don't got no magic pill to fix for you. You've been a funky hoe your entire life. And just because you want a pulpit and you put a cross around your neck don't mean you're not full of the devil. Depart from me. I never knew you. I can't help you. Send them a refund, Rita. Send them a refund. Send them their money back. Tell them I can't do nothing for them. I can't help you because your spirit is still ugly. You're not ready to hear it. I'm not here for you to debate with me. I'm here to give you instructions. That's why you sent me your money for a coaching call. I'm not sitting here trying to convince you to do the thing that's in your best interest. By the time you get to me, you already fucked up. Shut the fuck up and, and take this instruction and, and get some fix right, some act right in your life. 
keep talking about you want to be married. For what? Tell me. Help me to understand. What is marriage? What is marriage? Tell me what marriage is. Help me to understand what is marriage. Why you want it so bad? What does it do for you? How does it help you? You don't even believe in God. You don't believe in nothing. So why you believe in the institution of marriage? Because everybody else told you that that's what you're supposed to do and you can't think for yourself. And so now you want marriage. Honestly, that's not even why you want it. It ain't even because everybody else told you to. It's not even because you still romanticize about it because the Disney dream went out the window when you was getting buzzed down and you made yourself available to the streets. So because you don't understand marriage, you never preserved yourself for your husband and you gave the very thing that your husband was supposed to get from you as a result of you being with him to everybody else. And then you get mad at me by saying, oh, well, Anton has set me unrealistic expectations. So who made you suck dick? Who made you go out here and eat a chick's pussy? No, I'm still talking to the women right now. Who made you go out there and put your face in another, in another chick's legs? Tell me how this great man, this godly man, this phenomenal man that they keep telling us to go and be, be uh, step baby daddies. Tell me and help me to understand because I'm curious. I only want what I deserve. I only want what I deserve. I've never in my life asked for anything other than what it is that I earn. Good, I earned it. Bad, I earned it. It's mine. I don't care about the cards that's dealt to me. The only thing that matters is what I do as a result of it. Life is 10% of what happens to me, 90% of how I react to it. So if I end up in jail, I deserved it. If I end up free, I deserved it. If I end up poor, I earned it. If I end up rich, I want it. Just don't take anything away from me. That's mine. Don't steal nothing away from me. Just give me what it is that I earn. I've never asked for anything other than what it is that I deserve. So if I attract it and I get it and I take care of it and I preserve it and God multiply it as a result of it, then it's mine. It's mine. And I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to tell you the honest to God truth. And let me understand. Let me help you to understand something, baby. And again, this is not for all women. You know who you are. You know if you fucked up. You know if you're not right. You know if you did the wrong thing. You know if you went to these indoctrination camps called college and you didn't go there for the right reason. You got a degree as a result of you just being there. That was a residual effect of what it is that you did. You went there to have some freedom and do what you wanted to do. What you wanted to be free so bad for so the devil can get a hold of you. Why y'all chasing demons? Why are you chasing sin? Why are you then teaching your children to chase sin with your actions? What is so awesome about a demon? What is so awesome about sin? What is so awesome about doing a thing that's not in the best interest of your future? Why are you mortgaging your future for how you feel right now to get with the person that you know you're not supposed to be with? You opening your legs. Listen, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Real talk. This shit that y'all got going on right now in your households and all of this other stuff and you doing this and doing that and shaking it and everybody can do anything to anybody and is going in backwards and frontwards. This shit is demonic for real. For real. 